So let's look at another word problem where we need to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for a missing side length. So Jake plans to use a ramp to make it easier to move a piano out of the back of his truck. The back of his truck is 83 centimeters tall and the ramp is 158 centimeters long. So what is the horizontal distance from the end of the ramp to the back of the truck? So that is this missing distance here, which we can call X. And that will be at a right angle to the back of the truck. So basically, this is our ground here. This is the back side of the truck. And then this is the ramp that the piano is going to be moved on. So all of our units we know are in centimeters. So we just need to find this length on the ground, the horizontal distance from the end of the ramp to the back of the truck. So since we know that the back of the truck and the ground essentially, or this horizontal distance, that these are at a right angle, we know we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So remember for some general right triangle that the Pythagorean theorem just relates the side lengths that when you square each of the legs, A and B, and you add them together, you get the hypotenuse C of this triangle squared. And the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So we can use this relationship to set up an equation to find this missing side length. So let's do that. We just need to label what A, B, and C are. So we know the long side, the one opposite the hypotenuse, that has to be C we know that the legs have to be A and B. And it doesn't matter which we call which, we can call that A and we can call that B or we can switch that if we want. And now we just plug these into our theorem here, this Pythagorean theorem. So we have that A squared, that's 83 squared, plus B squared, which is X squared, is equal to C squared. And that's 158 squared. So let's simplify everything. If you use a calculator or just multiply these out by hand, 83 squared, 83 times 83 is 6,889. And if we square 158, we get 24,964. So we need to solve this for X squared. So let's subtract this 6,889 on each side of the equation and we get x squared by itself. So this x squared is now equal to 18,075. And our final step is just to cancel out this square. So to do that, we will take a square root of each side so that we get x by itself. And this is gonna be an irrational number. You can notice if you put this in your calculator, you get 134, point four four three two nine six and it's going to go on forever the calculator does round it at some point but this is irrational it has an infinitely long decimal and it doesn't have a pattern so we need to round this to the nearest tenth of a centimeter so here's our tenths place notice the number next to it is less than five so we can rewrite x as approximately 134.4 and our units here are centimeters and one way to just double check that you're at least somewhat on the right track is since this is a leg of the triangle it has to be less than the hypotenuse and this is less than 158 so that will at least point us that we're in the right direction and if you want to double check this, just take your leg here, square it and add it to 83 squared. And if that's equal to 158 squared, then you can feel confident that this is in fact the right answer.